Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to check it out how to create this optical illusion text in Illustrator. So, of course, this has been inspired from Viktor Kovalenko. I don't know if that's the way it's pronounced. He's from Kazakhstan and this was a poster that he created. I got inspired from it. Uh, of course, the type is custom made, you know, with a pen tool or something like that. And it's dressed up with this optical lesion. So I did it this way without any shading because I saw it's really interesting without shading. And of course, it takes a lot of time to do the shading. So I was kind of lazy. <laughs> but anyways, I got to show you how to do this. Okay, first step, I got to select the type tool, which is here. Click and I got to go and type in letter R. I'm going to scale it up, go to object, expand, click OK. And as you can see, if I right click on group, it's uh, made out, release compound path, it's made out of uh, shapes. So and what I need to do is swap from uh, fill to stroke. So right now I'm going to fill, I'm going to swap it here with this arrow. And as you can see, if I apply the 3D, it's going to apply it in this uh, way, which is not good. So I'm going to go to the pathfinder and click on unite. And as you can see, now it made it together. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. And of course, I'm going to go to the Direct Selection tool, which is here. Click on and I'm going to select, you know, the whole of the letter R and press on Delete. So right now it's on black. I'm going to click on the stroke and I'm going to change the color to a light gray. And I'm also going to go to the stroke profile. I'm going to decrease the weight of the profile to 0, 05. And now I'm going to put this letter R in the side and I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill. I'm going to click on the uh, fill and select the black color. I'm going to select the rectangle from here and I'm going to draw a rectangle like this. I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift to isolate and make sure they intersect. Okay, I'm going to change the color. Wait a sec. I'm going to change it to pink. You know, select both, press and hold alt drag it to the right and press and hold shift also until they intersect okay now from here press ctrl d until it creates a lot of copies select all and press and hold alt drag it down and make sure to intersect in this way also i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it right here i'm going to select all press and hold alt do it again select all right click group Go to the symbols. If you don't have the symbols, you can go to the windows and select the symbols and just drag this pattern into the symbols. Click OK. And now we can delete this. I'm going to go back to the letter R, select, go to effect, go to 3D and materials, go to 3D classics and go to the extrude and bevel. This is for the newest generations of Adobe Illustrator 2022. Things have been updated. Click on extrude and bevel. Now we can modify this and I'm going to increase the extrude depth, something like that. I'm going to increase the perspective. So I kind of like this. It's pretty cool. I'm going to go with this. Why not? Now go to the map art right here, click on it. And as you can see, we got like 20 shapes in here, one of 20. So we're going to click on the previous surface. And if you click on it, it's going to highlight this area. So I'm going to go here to the symbol none. I'm going to select the op text, scale to fit, click on it. As, as you can see, it's too dense if you scale to fit. And I'm just going to pull this out or in and adjust it. Kind of like it like this and go to the preview. It's going to highlight this one and do the same with every one, every each of it. And it looks something like this. I'm going to click OK, click OK again. And for example, if you don't like some parts, I don't like this area here. I'm going to click on and go to the, what is that? appearance and click on 3d and extrude and bevel and it's going to go back to the options go back to the map art and you can change whatever you like and mainly this was it thank you so much for watching and if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end have a good one bye bye